Hello, my name is Taylor Ross. I'm an Eximetry Ambassador and the owner of Frustum Virtual in Los Angeles, California. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the Unreal Scene for Tracked Camera Green Screen Live Compositing. The first thing we need to do is open Unreal Editor for Eximetry. This is different from the Unreal Editor provided by Epic Games. So when we open Unreal Editor for Eximetry, you'll see that it's opening Unreal Editor for Eximetry, Unreal Editor 5.3.2. In the Unreal Project Browser, you'll see all of the levels that you've created using the Unreal Engine from Epic Games. I'm going to open the project labeled Living Room Set 04, which I created in Unreal Engine 5.3. You'll see a dialog box that says Convert Project. By selecting Open a Copy, you will make sure that you are not doing anything destructive to your original project file that you created in Unreal Engine from Epic Games. So open a copy. This will load in the Unreal Editor for Eximetry. Make sure that that's the for Eximetry version. This is what Unreal Engine 5 looks like with the native layout. The layout I like to use is the UE4 Classic layout. So I will navigate to Window, Load Layout, and select UE4 Classic Layout. The only difference here is that it puts place actors on the left and our content browser at the bottom. You'll see that the main difference between Unreal Editor for Eximetry and the Unreal Editor from Epic Games is this Eximetry tab at the top. And here we'll see Add Camera, Cook Content for Eximetry DE, Install Plugins, and then some Help tabs that will take you to documentation and a forum. We'll go up here to the Add Camera tab. You'll see Green Camera Virtual, Green Camera Tracked, Green Camera Virtual Plus Tracked, Green Camera Plus AR, some LED wall options, and then just an AR camera tract. I'm gonna be focusing on these top three. I like to add the green camera virtual plus tract, which will give me both of these cameras so that I don't have to come back to the Unreal Editor for Eximetry and recook my content if I only wanna have a virtual camera or tracked camera. So go ahead and select the green camera virtual plus tract. You'll see that this adds two cameras to our world outliner, an Eximetry tracked camera and an Eximetry virtual camera. Once these cameras are added, they will always be placed at world zero and transform. You can adjust the position of these cameras to get a better view of your scene in the Unreal Editor. Just know that when you make the adjustment in the Unreal Editor, it does not translate to the Eximetry DE side, so you will need to make these changes again once you open the project in Eximetry DE. If you are still making changes to your scene, it is helpful to place these cameras in the general position that they will be in once you open it in Eximetry DE, but take note of where they are positioned at zero because you will need to make those changes again to get to the same position that you are in in the Unreal Editor on the Eximetry DE side. So next we'll go to Edit, Project Settings. At the top, we'll type in Stencil in our search bar. For custom depth stencil pass, we want to make sure that enabled with stencil is selected. Next in the search bar, we will search for planar. Find support global clip plane for planar reflections and make sure this checkbox is set to true. Now in the project settings, come down to maps and modes. Under default modes, default game mode should be set to axi mode. If you don't see this setting, make sure that the default modes is expanded using this arrow. If your default game mode is not set to Axie mode, you'll need to create a new game mode with this plus sign. We'll give it a name. I'll call this Eximetry mode. Go ahead and select save. Under default pawn class, make sure that this is set to none. For default maps, you wanna make sure that the editor startup and game default map are both set to the map that you will be cooking and using in Eximetry DE. So if you have multiple maps in the project, just make sure that you're selecting the map that you're currently working on and that you added these Eximetry tracked camera and virtual cameras to. Lastly, we will go to packaging, scroll down and find the advanced tab, expand the advanced options, continue to scroll down until you find list of maps to include in package build. If you have no array elements and no index, you will need to add them and populate with the level that you are currently working on. 
Use this plus tab to add an index. It won't be populated, so you'll need to use these three dots to browse to the location of the map that you are trying to cook. By default, this is located in your Documents folder under Unreal Projects. Locate the name of your project file, followed by a 5.3. This is the project file that was created when we opened a copy at the beginning of this tutorial. The copy that is created will always add a 5.3 or version number to the end of the project name. Now we will need to browse to the level location in the content folder. Mine is in Horror Living Room, Living Room Demo, UMAP. Select Open. By selecting your map, you will save on the cook time, so you won't have to sit and cook every single level that is in your project. If you have a large project file, this can save a lot of time just because it won't be cooking everything that's in the entire project. So we're going to go ahead and close our project settings now that we have all of those settings created and saved. The cameras are added. We're going to come back up here to the Eximetry tab and select Cook Content for Eximetry DE. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, you should see a dialog that comes up that says Cooking Content for Windows. You can select Show Output Log, which is the same as this output log in the lower left, or you can come up to Window, Output Log. This will dock the output log next to my content browser. Once the cooking process is complete, you'll see a cook command completed, build successful, cooking completed. If after the cooking is completed, you get a build failed message, there are probably errors that you'll need to go back through and address in this text dialog. Now that the project has successfully been cooked and built for Eximetry DE, we'll make sure that everything is saved. In the bottom right hand corner, it says all saved. You can also use file, save all, or control shift S. You can also save directly from this bottom right hand corner, all saved. We can now close the Unreal Editor for Eximetry. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to bring this into Eximetry DE Composer. Hopefully this video was helpful in getting your Unreal project set up for green screen live compositing. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.